looking at the difference between inductive and deductive thinking. So the first thing we want to understand is that with inductive thinking, it's reasoning from experience. So anytime you form any conclusions about the world, you're going to be doing it based on some kind of experience. So for example, let's say that you go have Indian food. And the first time you have Indian food, it's a really bad experience. You get super sick. And you say, I'm never going to eat Indian food ever again. And you form a deductive pattern or expectation that all Indian food is ultimately going to be bad. Now maybe some, some point down the road, you decide, oh, let's try some more Indian food. You get brave. You, so you test your hypothesis, and you end up having a different experience. You end up really liking Indian food. So now you've had two experiences with Indian food, and the second one has, just, has confirmed that a whole new expectation that ultimately Indian food isn't so bad. In fact, you really like it. So new exp expectations can be formed. So this happens, this process of forming conclusions from experience happens all the time in our lives. So for example, let's say you're driving and you typically drive five to 10 miles over the speed limit. And you've done this your whole life. You've had lots of experiences driving over the speed limit and you formed a basic conclusion that ultimately this is no big deal. Speeding doesn't hurt anybody. You've never had accidents and you've never been pulled over until one day you, you get totally pulled over and you, you get a, a ticket. And this, this is a new experience that may form a new, a new expectation, and it may actually influence the way that you drive. You may no longer speed. So again, this process of forming expectations from experience can have some, some issues as well. So let's think about another example. So sometimes people end up having their expectations influence perception. And so they will essentially have an expectation about the world and all of their perceptions and all of their experiences are completely influenced by this expectation. It's called confirmation bias. So for example, with the movie Shrek, the first Shrek was a super success at the box office. It was a high-ranking blockbuster hit. So everyone assumed that the next one would be a, a success as well. And lo and behold, Shrek 2 was another great box office hit. So at this point, people started to assume that all Shreks were great. They were all going to score super high at the box office. You can't go wrong with a Shrek movie until Shrek 3 came out and scored way lower than anyone expected it to. And investors were actually sort of perplexed by this because they had ignored evidence that had said that, hey, you know what, Shrek 3 may not score as high. And they had invested so much that they expected it to score pretty high. So this is just one example of how expectations can influence our perception and how we'll see things the way we want to see them and kind of deny or uh, ignore evidence that goes against it. So when it comes to inductive and deductive thinking, you definitely just want to keep in mind how many experiences have you really had before you formed those conclusions. And then also, how are your expectations actually influencing what you see in the world? So. This concludes our discussion of inductive and deductive thinking. Thank you very much.